I don't care how much silver you may find in this valley. I'm not staying one minute longer. And if you value your life, you'll leave with me. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Oh, good morning, Mr. Paladin. Good morning, hey boy? You have breakfast in the dining room this morning? Yes. Would you bring my paper in when it arrives? Yes, sir. Oh, these gentlemen in there want to see you. Gentlemen? Yes, one uh, sitting at the table by the door. See? Oh, yes. You know him? No, I don't think so. Uh, his name uh, Mr. Denton. He checked in the hotel last night, asked for you this morning. Must be very rich man. Give hey boy a big tip. <laughs> well, if that's true, he might be just the man I'm looking for. Oh, well, how's that? Well, my coffer is a little low, hey boy. I need a wealthy employer willing to pay a decent fee for my services. You think that's why he's looking for me? Oh, maybe so. All right. Let's see. Yes, sir. Ah. <clears throat> Mr. Denton? Yes, I'm Wade Denton. Who are you? Paladin. Oh, sure. Paladin. <laughs> Just the man I'm looking for. Uh, uh, sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Ah. Now, what can I do for you, Mr. Denton? <laughs> right to the point, huh? Good. I like that. I'm that way myself. I can't hold of these people always have their jaw going. Ruffles me. All business is what I like in a man. Yes, I agree with you, Mr. Denton. Well, sir, I'm in silver, Paladin. I got two mines over in Virginia City, and they're good ones, too. They're <laughs> mighty good. And I think I know where there's another rich strand just ripe for the mining in a whole new territory. Nobody knows about it but me. It's in a little hidden valley over in Arizona that my dad showed me when I was just a boy when we first come out here. And I never did forget it. Now, if I remember right, that's just the kind of land that's loaded with good ore. What does this have to do with me, Mr. Dunn? Well, I want to hire you to take me out there, Paladin. Oh. I can't go there alone. Uh -huh. It's rough country, and I hear there's been trouble with the Apache. I want you to help me find this hidden valley. I see. Uh, how much are you willing to pay? Well, money's no object. Name it. Name it. How about $1,000 before we leave? And another 1000 when we get back to San Francisco. That's fair enough. All right, Mr. Denton. I'll help you look for your valley. <laughs> Constipation can be a problem for anyone, even doctors. And when constipation occurs, it's interesting to see just what doctors consider important about a laxative they might use or recommend. Well, a majority of the doctors we heard from had this to say. A laxative should be effective, gentle, close to natural acting. A medicine that can be used with complete confidence. Now, Exlax has been popular with many doctors and millions of people over the years because chocolated Exlax is effective. Overnight, it helps you toward your normal regularity. Exlax is so gentle, so close to natural acting, there's no upset. That's why many doctors and millions of people use Exlax with complete confidence. Exlax, the laxative that helps you toward your normal regularity, gently. Overnight. Our trip to Arizona was uneventful until we ran into a vicious storm shortly after crossing the territorial border. Travel was nearly impossible, and we soon became lost in the swirling rain. Fortunately, we found a line cabin stocked with firewood, and it was a welcome relief from the biting cold of the storm. How long you think this will last? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I'm glad we found this cabin. Yeah. This one won't freeze. You better stoke up the fire. I'll get some rations ready. Hey, I'm getting hungry now that you mention it. Hey. What's that? Well, it sounds like somebody trying to get in. Uh. Well, uh, that's a girl. Mister. Help. 
Hey. Uh, close the door. Oh, sure, sure. What's the matter over there? I don't know. Take the gear off that cot, will you? Yeah. I wonder what that devil she's doing out in this weather. She's been hurt. Uh, there. Is she bad? Uh, by the looks of these scratches and bruises, she had an accident of some kind. Any broken bones, you think? No, I don't think so. And she seems to be more exhausted than anything else. Now, what do you suppose a young woman like that would be doing way out here in the middle of nowhere? We'll find out when she wakes up. morning. It's time to get up. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't think I could ever get used to sleeping on the floor. <laughs> hey, storm's over. Yeah, and the fire's out. You better get it started and keep it warm in here for the girl. Right. I'm going out and check the horses. Has she been awake at all? Not yet. Yeah. Looks like she's coming out of it. Yeah. Miss... No, we're friends, miss. Don't be frightened. I don't know you. You came here yesterday afternoon and asked me to help you. Then you fainted. Yesterday? Oh, I remember. Oh, this your house? No, my friend and I stopped here to get out of the storm. What happened to you? That crazy horse stumbled in a rabbit hole. Threw me down and ran off like a scarecrow. You feel all right? I guess I do. Maybe a mite sore. Not as sore as I'm going to be when Papa gets through beating me for losing that horse. You live around here? Not far, I reckon. I got lost in all that rain. I expect I can find my way now that it stopped. No, no, no. no. We'll see that you get home all right. You will? Of course. Oh, this is Mr. Denton, and my name is Paladin. Well, howdy. <laughs> miss. Did I stay here all night with you men? <laughs> well, you sure did. What's your name, miss? Prunella. Prunella Hartsook. Well, Prunella, we're going to fix up something to eat, and then if you feel all right, we'll take you on to your home. Well, ain't that the nicest thing? Well, what'd you say your name was? <laughs> It's Paladin. Mr. Paladin, I don't see many men folks except in my papa and my brother, but I reckon you're the prettiest man I ever did see. Tastes good like a cigarette should. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Winston gives you real flavor, full, rich tobacco flavor. Winston's easy drawing to the flavor comes right through to you. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. A modern filter? Sure, Winston has it. But that's only the beginning of a Winston. Up front, up where it really counts, Winston packs exclusive filter blend. Light, flavorful tobaccos, specially selected and specially processed for filter smoking. Filter blend. That's why it's fun to smoke Winston, America's best-selling filter cigarette. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. After breakfast, we left the cabin with Prunella riding double with me. She directed us to a small valley, nestled snugly in a deep canyon hidden from the normal traveler. There was only one way down the steep canyon walls, a narrow, shale-like path winding precariously to the bottom. As our horses picked their way down, Wade Denton became more and more excited. 
Finally, as we neared the cabin where Brunella and her folks lived, Denton could contain himself no longer. Paladin, Paladin, this is it. This is yeah. the valley we've been looking for. Are you sure? Positive. I thought so on the way down, and now I know it. I, I remember looking up and seeing these here canyon walls when I was a boy. Oh, this is it, all right, I tell you. This, oh, it was our lucky day when Penella got thrown off her horse. Well, I doubt that she feels that way. Oh, you're sure enough wrong, Mr. Paladin. Well, if I hadn't got thrown, I'd never met up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Sure is mighty stuck on you, Paladin. Well, you, you don't have to remind me, Denton. Look, there's Ma out by the well. Howdy, Ma, I'm back. Ooh, what? Ain't you gonna say nothing, Ma? Mr. Hotsock! Prunella's come home! There's two men with her! Oh, he's kind of an angry-looking fella, isn't he? Mm. Get down off the horse, young'un. Who are these people? Well, that one's Mr. Paladin, and he's Mr. Denton. What you done to my daughter? We tried to help her. That old horse threw me yesterday, Papa, and I got lost in the storm. They took care of me. Well, she came to our cabin, and she was hurt. At the truth, young'un? For the truth, Papa. I reckon Mr. Paladin just about saved my life. He didn't harm you? No, sir. Ma? Yes, sir. What do you think? She ain't smart enough to lie. Boy, put the shotgun down and come on out. Shotgun? That's my son lied. Uh, what's the shotgun for, Mr. Just in case Prunella said you'd done her harm. They didn't do that, Papa. We believe you, young'un. You folks can get off your horses if you're mind to. Strangers ain't usually welcome here, but seeing you helped my daughter, you're invited to visit and rest a spell. Well, now we do thank you, mister. We're cramped up a bit from that ride down the canyon. Aren't we, fellas? Oh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to stretch our legs before we leave. Ma? Yes, sir. Oh. Suppose you could boil up some coffee for these strangers? Yeah. I reckon I could, but I ain't got enough drinking cups to go around. The young uns can wait their turn. All right. There's water in the trough for your horses. Well, thank you, Mr. Hartsook. Come on, Denton. I tell you, I can't believe it, Paladin. I've been thinking of this valley for years, and now here I stand. Ought to be a fortune in silver ore under those hills. You may be right, Denton, but I think you're going to have some trouble claiming it for your own. Here's your coffee, Lodge. Thanks, Ma. You folks care for Ma? Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, I will, too. About the best flavored coffee I ever tasted. <laughs> What's your secret, Mrs. Hartsook, eh? Ain't no secret. I made it the same as I always have. I want to add my compliments, too, ma'am. It's, it's, it's very good. I'm obliged for your word. Ma says it's better when you boil the grounds with an egg shell. You folks are lucky she oh, did it that way today. Huh? Well, <laughs> well, I'll have to tell my wife. Hey, hey, mm. Pruny makes good cooking, too. Ma learned her how. Pruny's going to make somebody a good wife. Well, I'm sure she will, Lodge. Uh, you have a very nice sister. She's sure grateful to you for saving her life. Well, that isn't exactly the way it was, Lodge. You... Uh... Folks enjoying your visit? Oh, yes. Uh, we are, Mr. Hartsook. I was just talking to Prunella outside. Mr. Paladin, she got a real deep feeling for you. Be right nice if you was to stay on for a while. Well, uh, that's uh, nice of you, but uh, Mr. Denton and I have to be leaving very soon. Huh? Oh, Paladin, that oh, ain't so. Oh, yes. We've got business in these parts, if you remember. Denton, you found your valley. My bargain with you has been fulfilled. Now, if you want to stay on, that's fine, but... No, I have to be leaving now. Oh, I, wait a minute. Uh, Paladin, a little you've got another thousand dollars coming when know, we get Paul, back to San I'll Francisco. I'm giving up that part of our deal. Well, I can't stay here by myself. Well, then you better come with me. You know where the valley is now. You can always come back. 
I'm leaving, Denton. You ain't going nowhere. A... A what? That shotgun Lige is pointing at you. That says you stay oh, here. Well, what's he doing? What's that? going on, Mr. Hart? Sir? It's like Pa says Pruny's got a hankering for you. Uh, a hankering? Well, you don't point a shotgun at a man's back for that. We've been looking for a man for Prunella. She wants you, so that settles it. Settles what? You and Prunella. You're going to get married. Mother, I'll never finish these curtains. Couldn't I finish them home on my machine? Would you? With the headaches and muscular aches and pains I've had lately, I don't do half I should. Nobody feels very ambitious with those discomforts. Better do something to get relief. But how? I'd try Doan's pills. Right. Doan's pills are an analgesic and mild diuretic to the kidneys. Nagging backache, also headache, dizziness, and muscular aches and pains, may come on with overexertion, emotional upsets, or everyday stress and strain. Doan's pain-relieving action is often the answer, and they also offer mild diuretic action through the kidneys. So if nagging backache is making you feel worn out, tired, and miserable, with restless, sleepless nights, don't wait. Try Doan's pills, used successfully by millions for over 60 years. See if they don't bring you the same welcome relief. Get Doan's pills today. To save money, buy Doan's big economy size. Mr. Hartsook forced me to surrender my gun and also the Derringer. Lige kept me under constant surveillance with his ever-present shotgun while Mrs. Hartsook made preparations for the wedding. Prunella was to wear the same wedding dress her mother had worn. Denton thought it was all a big joke and was happy to have his freedom. He spent the better part of the day exploring the valley for silver ore, and it was late afternoon before he returned to the house. Here comes your friend. Where's he been all day? Well, he's an explorer, Lige. He has a, a keen interest in this little valley. What fur? Well, maybe he'll tell you, Lige, now that he's had a chance to look it over. Hello. You look disappointed. Uh, mistaken about this valley, Paladin. There ain't no silver ore anywhere that I can find. I'm sorry to hear that. So we might as well head on out. No, you forget, Denton. Lige still has that cannon pointed at me, and the rest of them are inside uh, getting ready for the wedding. Ah, uh, they're just joking. How can you get married without a preacher? Pa's gonna marry him. Well, he can't do it. He's not a preacher. It don't matter. Went to church regular when he was a young'un. Knows how to do it. Reckon that gives him the right enough. Uh, you folks, come on in. Prunel is ready. Mr. Hartsook, you can't be serious. You can't force a man to marry your daughter if he's not willing to. You're wrong, Paladin. I've seen it happen many a time when I was back in Missouri. You'll be grateful to me when you get used to the idea. Prunel will make you a good wife. Now you just come on. No, 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 wait a minute. Now we can talk this out. You we heard, can... Paul. Get on <laughs> inside. All right. All right. But it won't be legal. Legal enough for Prunella. Oh, we're gonna have to have a best man, Mr. Denton. Since Lige has to hold a shotgun, you'll stand up as best man. Oh, if you say so, Mr. Arch. I say so. Come on. And there she is, Ballard. Ain't she pretty, though? <laughs> Let's get on with it, Mr. Hartsook. I gotta get the barn ready for the sleeping quarters. The barn? You uh, stand over there next to the bride, Paladin. You stand right there, Mr. Denton. All right. <clears throat> now, according to the good book, I'm gonna join these two up in holy matrimony. Ain't no use in spilling words all over, so I'll get right to the point. Do you, Prunella Hartsook, take this here, Mr. Paladin, to be your lawful and forevermore wedded husband? I sure do, Papa. <laughs> and do you, Paladin, take my daughter, Prunella, to be your lawful and forevermore wedded wife? No. 
What? I said no. Well, now, you listen here. Papa? Lights. The gun's right in the middle of your back, Mr. Paladin. Now, Paul, ask him that question again. Yeah. <clears throat> and do you, Paladin, take Prunella to be your lawful and forevermore wedded wife? Answer him. No, I do not take Prunella to be my lawful wedded wife or anything else. You darn fool, you want to get blowed clean in half? I'm not going to say yes. Lige can pull the trigger if he wants. Papa, make him marry me. Oh, marry him anyway, Pa. What's the difference? I can't marry him if he don't say yes. It ain't legal. Oh, Papa! Shut up, Prunella! <laughs> You started this whole mess anyhow, wanting to marry an outsider. Now, Mr. Hutchup, that ain't fair. Prunelli's got to have herself a man. Nobody asked you, woman. Now, hush up or wallop you a good one. Should I shoot him, Paul? What good did that do? He ain't gonna do nobody any good, Dave. Just the same, he riles me. Well, you leave him be. If the darn fool don't know a good bargain when he sees one, then he don't deserve to profit none by it. Then what are we going to do with him? We're going to let him go. That's what. <laughs> go get his guns and horse. Oh, Paul. Do it, Lige. <laughs> well, all right. Papa, I want to marry him. Well, you ain't going to. Prunella, please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I really didn't. Prunella. Here's his guns. All right. You folks is free to go. Mr. Hartsick, I will. Get out of here. Uh, and don't never come back to this valley again. Oh, you can count on that, Mr. Hartsook. You have our word. Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Hartsook. Uh, come on, Denton, let's go. Pepsi-Cola refreshes without filling. Why? Because it's truly light. Charlie, you're forgetting something. Wait, Kay, there's more. Yes, ice-cold Pepsi is the delicious refreshment that goes great at a picnic or a party. But, Charlie... And Pepsi goes fast. People like it, so keep plenty handy. There. Oh, you did fine, except for one thing. Well, I mentioned lightness and how Pepsi refreshes and how fast it goes. You left out Pepsi sociability. You know the Be Sociable song. But, Kay, I can't sing. I can. Listen. Be sociable, look smart. Keep up to date with Pepsi. Drink light, refreshing Pepsi. Stay young and fair and debonair. Be sociable, have a Pepsi. Well, at least I can say this. Pick up an extra carton of Pepsi today. Please do. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin, with Ben Wright as Hey Boy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun, Will Travel by Ray Kemper. Featured in the cast were Peggy Weber, Vic Perrin, Bill Idelson, and Lawrence Dobkin. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel. Thank you.